to Games for All Tube. Today I'm going to be unboxing this £600 or so worth of board games for kids aged 2 to 5 years old. Now these have been bought for us by Blackpool Better Start in order for me to run a dad and kids club at King Craig Children's Centre during the holiday. I went online and I asked people what games were good to get. I looked on Board Game Geek and saw what the top 100 kids games were and I just went through and I went, click, I love that one, I love that one, I love that one. So I know some of these games here, but not all of them. So it's going to be a big surprise to me, as it is to you, as I unbox every single one of these for you. So let's go on a journey and see what we find. So first on our list is Crazy Chefs. Um, it says collect ingredients and utensils to help your chef cook a tasty dish. Let's have a look what's inside it. Um, it does say on the back that it's learning made fun, children learn through play and we are passionate about developing games and jigsaws that strike the perfect balance between education and fun. And it says it's going to develop matching and memory skills, observational skills and develop knowledge of the world. So let's see what's inside. We have got oh, the usual um, advertisement. See what all the different games are that come out. now. I know that Orchard toys are very, very good. Well worth looking at these if you have a child who is about, well, between one and a half and five, I'd say. Lots of things that you can teach them using this. Let's have a look what's inside this box. We have got, oh, things falling out of it. Aha. We've got a spinner. Always good to have a spinner. Let's slot this together. There we go. Hey, um, our instructions. Oh, nice big thing. Spin the spinner to collect the plate. If the spinner lands on the waiting child, play passes to the next player. If it lands on the child sitting at the table, your dish is cooked, and the winner is the first player to cook dinner by completing their board. Ah, fair enough. Seems nice and easy. So we've got all these cards. We've got all the different ingredients that you require to make your different dishes. Obviously we've got pizza, shepherd pie, uh, we've got cupcakes there. Ah, oh, these are the ingredients, so we'll pop these out. Uh, we've got, I assume they're skewers, they look like nails to me. Nice roast chicken dinner there. A, a tin pineapples, peppers, a griddle pan, um, some spring onions. Some nice vine ripened tomatoes, lovely. Uh, some onions, some noodles or spaghetti maybe. Uh, prawns. Um, I'm guessing that's meant to be soy sauce. Peas in pods. Oop. We've got an escaping pizza dough base. Cheese grater, cheese, mushrooms. Potato grater, tomato puree, oxo cubes, a spatula, a wok, a pizza slice, some olives, um, a plate, and some form of cottage pie. Yummy. Let's keep going through, see what else we've got. Uh, another board to make some skewers for kebabs. Ah, an escaped pizza, always good when they come off for you. Um, yeah, it does look like some form of spaghetti carbonara being made there. We've got some more plates here. And a few more ingredients. So, cupcake tray is always good. A mixing bowl. Um, some icing sugar. Uh, some flour. A couple of eggs. You can never have enough eggs. Some butter. Um, some more flour of some variety, potatoes, onions, potato masher, minced meat, carrots. And to finish it all off we've got our nice little cupcakes, our spaghetti and our skewers. Very nice. I like this game box. 
so I'll pop it all back inside here and it's ready to go in the morning. So back in it goes. Now usually when I've got lots of loose things I put them inside baggies but this box does seem quite sturdy and it is going for children they're nice big chunky pieces so I'm not worried about losing them and also whenever you're giving things to kids you don't really want to involve plastic bags in it because that would be bad and a choking hazard so there it goes there it goes and that's crazy chef stun for us Okay, next on our list is the Gruffalo Memory Game by Ravensburger. Um, okay, so Gruffalo Memory Game. Um, it says on the back of this box, um, the exciting search for matching picture pairs guarantees hours of fun for the whole family. Small children are often best at this game thanks to their excellent visual memory. Oh, let's have a look what we've got. So we've got an instruction booklet in many different langu languages and then all the different pieces. Ah, oh, this is a good one, it's one I don't need to prepare, that's always handy. So everything's already come pre-cut out for us. The artwork is absolutely amazing as you would come to expect from um, anything that's really got the Gruffalo on it. Um, children are going to adore this, oh there's the cheeky mouse and there's our Gruffalo. So, There'll be pairs of different things in there, ready to get matched up. And that is literally all it is. It's just all different pieces of artwork. Which is very pretty. I can imagine kids are going to go mental for that one. So I very much look forward to it. Instructions back in. Let me box down. Moving on. We've got some Rory Story Cubes. Now I'm very excited about these. Um, it's not so much a game as it is an activity. Now, I really enjoy role playing. I enjoy telling stories. And when I saw these, I knew I had to have them. There are dice, you roll them, and then you tell a story based on the pictures that come up. Um, what's on this little thing? It tells you how to um, play it. You basically start by saying, once upon a time, and then you just tell a story that matches up all the pictures that come up. And they are lovely dice, nice chunky feel to them. Um, well sealed in their plastic, it appears. There are many different sets of Rory Story Cubes, but I didn't know how they were going to go down. So for now, I only loaded one set. But, you know, it's a meaty grab of a child will absolutely love that and they, they barely fit in my hand and I know I've got tiny girl hands but still that's that's an impressive amount of dice there and we'll give it a good one. and then you just make a story up in any order that you want about what is happening with all of these pictures it's brilliant for getting kids engaged and getting them starting to say stories let's put them back in there I'm loving the case as well it, it's a proper wooden case just the right size for the dice to go in it looks amazing and that, that's part of the thing part of the special part of making stories i think if it looks good children are going to absolutely adore it and um, it has a little magnetic catch on it as well just a, a lovely well-made thing there and I, I can't recommend this enough for anybody who wants to tell stories with their kids just just a brilliant little thing Thank <laughs> you.